Hello everyone and welcome to Chris's collection. Ooh, look at this. Wow, this is like one of the the older Lego games, man. Ooh. Uh so welcome guys to Lego Indiana Jones the Original Adventures. So this uh came out in 2008 to get people, you know, hyped for um for uh, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, you know, which was coming out at the time. And this was, like, right after, you know, they had done Lego uh, Star Wars, Lego Star Wars 2, and then they had done, like, a, a complete saga kind of thing where they combined both games into one. And then this was, like, the first non-Star Wars Lego game to come out. It was This was the, the first one right after. And, you know, it was another LucasArts project and it's co-made with LucasArts because they're like let's get in on that so it was Indiana Jones and I remember thinking this is the perfect opportunity to utilize DLC I'm like you gotta use DLC right you do this this has the first three games and all that and I'm like you guys have to incorporate the you know DLC to, to incorporate the fourth movie when it comes out absolutely not no no dlc uh did not do it uh we'll get to that when we cover the second lego indiana jones game but um yeah i i really i really like this i thought um okay i'm obviously not doing this correctly is it this no i guess just don't step on that um but uh yeah this was really cool i i was really i i love this i thought like when this came out i'm like oh, okay lightning can strike twice or whatever you know like it had the same charm i mean obviously star wars was you know huge but you know indiana jones is pretty big too obviously it's a you know og franchise um it's up there it's definitely like the other thing that lucas film is known for um but yeah, so this just worked out so well. Uh, I was really stoked for it. Um, I knew it was coming out. Um, and, uh, you know, I had it pre-ordered. I was, like, super just into it and, like, oh, we're going to get it, man. We're going to get another LEGO game. Because there wasn't so many LEGO games at the time. Like, LEGO was still, you know, relatively new. It wasn't, uh, like, a big thing like, um, like how it it is now you know like now the lego games well they kind of had like their boom so to say in um in like the the late 2000s you know early 2010s and stuff like that it wasn't until you know later that um it became you know a little bit quieter i guess you could say like it just kind of like went away it wasn't as big as how it was oh my god look at this Deed. Can I not climb? Oh, God. Can I go here? I don't know what I'm doing right now. No, I think I messed up completely. Oh, yeah, I messed up completely. Oh, I thought there was a dude hiding there. Anyway, um, yeah, so this, uh, I, I dug it. I really thought it was really cool. I liked, uh, Lego Indie, you know? It was up my my alley. I was hyped for the new movie. I I actually don't hate the the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull as much as uh, most people do. I, I didn't think it was as bad as everyone made it out to be. But anyway, um, one thing that did bother me about this game, uh, the first one had um, co-op, and I remember I was I'm sorry, not the first one. Uh, Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga, which I think it had came out the same year. Um, had uh um had a, a co-op it was um uh it had online co-op you could jump online and you know play and so i remember i was working at a GameStop at the time and uh and i had my friend his name was andy and we still talk uh from time to time he um i think he like works in orlando now in one of the theme parks which is awesome because he was so into that but uh, we were both really into Star Wars, and um, and so we played together, and you know we we played the games as they came out, and really had fun. And uh, when the online 
co-op happen we're like this is so cool we don't even have to be in the same room ah. and so uh we played them and it was a lot of fun and um we were able to help each other acquire our bricks and whatnot and uh sadly uh online co-op I, I don't think they've ever done online co-op after um after lego star wars I, the complete saga i'm pretty I, like i'm fairly certain they stopped and um it was kind of a bummer because they were it was really good it was a lot of fun and um so we were like excited about lego nina jones we're like dude we're gonna co-op uh, and then no co-op <laughs> just no co-op at all and it was it was a bummer um but uh all right guys that's gonna be it for lego indie um we'll be back uh next week uh to conclude lego indie the games but not the lego games we still have plenty to go all right guys thanks for watching take care